Hi, um, thank you for staying to This is Lifestyle with Chinese Versatile again. So today we'll be talking about the challenges of single parenting. I know I've been doing this series and this is because I really want us to get this cleared out before we venture into other interesting areas of this channel. So if you find, um, as you find, we'll be talking about the challenges and what you can do or what can be done to help um, such people in such situations. Okay. We've talked about in the previous episodes, we've talked about single parenting situations. What are the things that actually make one become a single parent? We talked about um, the misconceptions of single parenting. We also did talk about things you should not say. Yeah? That was the other one, right? So um, today, basically, we'll be venturing into um, the challenges that single parents face. It is important for us to um, make this known so that you out there can know when you come across a single parent, so at least you can have an understanding of what a single parent ideally goes through. Okay, it could be generalized, like every single parent might actually be facing this, while some have some challenges that's unique to the environment, that's unique to the family, that's unique to the background, okay? But these general terms, these general challenges that I'll be addressing today, um, basically about 50% of single parents, um, members of the single parenting community actually experience it, okay? So we'll jump right into it like now. Number one, um, Number one challenge that I can say, but in no particular order, of course, is that of um, emotional. Yeah, because by the time one experiences through whatever means, of course, through whatever means that one eventually experiences the um, event of becoming a single parent, it actually has a lot to do to the emotional person, uh, emotional life of that individual. Okay, so take for instance, someone who lost his spouse or lost her spouse, okay? There is that emotional trauma that person is going to face as a result of grief, as a result of loss, okay? And that person is going to have a, a few moments of depressions and or depressive moods and all of that. Or somebody who just found out that she's pregnant, and to someone who might not marry her and then she decides to keep that pregnancy of course she's going to feel emotionally down like you know or a situation of divorce when a couple have to go their separate ways or are even separated it certainly does have a strain okay on the emotional life of any individual so that's why i'll start off with emotional side so Basically, this emotion, um, you, you tend to have experiences such as stress. You get stressed all the time. Probably you feel fatigued. You, you, don't, you don't have joy towards anything. You don't want to continue. You just don't want to keep up. Like, you're tired. You're tired all the time. Okay, so, but um, another experience you might encounter is that of anxiety. Feeling anxious all the time, always on the edge. You know, you, you just don't want to, you know, you just get tired. You just get tired basically you know or depression you're not happy you don't you don't find joy doing things you don't want to hang out with people anymore you're sliding in and sometimes of course you find that you're either eating compulsively or not eating at all that's also a sign that you are depressed okay you might be adding weight unnecessarily or losing weight unnecessarily you might not be looking good not taking good care of yourself all of these things have a thing to do with the emotional side of life so because your emotional life is down you tend to just not care anymore about anything and as a matter of fact it begins to affect the children because yeah you're not taking care of yourself you find it difficult to take care of them or pay close attention to them and their lives and of course it will affect what it will affect their life as individuals children it will affect their education your grades you find that they'll begin to go down academically actually your grades will become low they might be going late to school you know more or sometimes being absent at school and then also you might not be be your best at your work yeah, once you are, once you're not motivated to do anything in life, your work will get affected. Everything basically will get affected. And hey, guess what? Before you know it, before long, your health, your physical health will begin to depreciate, like go down. Like you'll find that you're getting sickly often, you're having stomach upsets, you're constantly having headaches and all of that. So it's related. So our emotional life, we have to actually be careful to watch it because our emotional, the emotional challenges we experience might affect our mental health, affect our physical health, affect our even spiritual health. Yes. Because you find that you, because you're not motivated anymore, you're not excited about anything again, you find that you don't actually get to pray as much. You don't get, you don't get excited about anything basically. So these are some of the challenges. So what can you do? Of course, um, it's always good if you have someone who is a single parent around you, you know, in your circle, it's good to be sensitive to what these challenges might be because you might, you might either help or spoil the whole situation. 
I said help because if you're sensitive to what that person is going through, then you might offer help. You might try to be kind enough, less judgmental with what you say. You, you'll find that um, you become kinder generally. And if possible, help her by help her or him by being there. Just be there. Just, you know, or sometimes it wouldn't hurt to just ask, how are you feeling? Or how can I be of help? Genuinely, not because you want to mock that person, okay? I know sense of guilt comes most times when, you know, you feel like, oh, if I had known, I would have swallowed my pride and just be, you know, just manage through the marriage, no matter what happens, at least for the children. But hey, you made the right decision. You made the right choice to be by yourself because you want to be alive. So don't regret your actions whatsoever. But if you feel like you've regretted your actions and you need somebody to just talk to and talk you through it, then of course, find somebody you can confide in. Okay, so we'll move on to the next um, challenge, which we often find, and that is loneliness. Of course, the emotional side, um, yeah, kind of help happens, but it, loneliness actually continues more like for a very long time, at least longer than the emotional side, because, you know, you keep, oftentimes you keep sliding in and out of the emotional challenge, but loneliness basically you'll find that you're lonely, you don't have a partner, you know, it feels good to actually talk to somebody or have somebody you can always talk to, right? But when you don't have that person, when that knowledge, when it's been done on you that you don't have that person, you don't have that special someone that you can actually and readily talk to when you feel the need to talk to somebody, it's actually very, very, very challenging. And then it can also hamper on your emotional health. So yeah, loneliness. And um, when you don't have someone to talk to or, or, Sometimes for some people who already have the children before they became um, single parents, they find that when the children have to go on a holiday, you know, we, we get drowned in on our children's activity. But by the time they probably go on a vacation, go on a holiday, or just go on a weekend visit to the other side, or even to another family member or friend, you find that you become very lonely because that thing that got you engaged or that you got engaged, your, you, you engaged yourself in at the time is no longer there. And then you begin to feel that loneliness. You're not just alone, you're now lonely. And it dawns on you, and guess what? you find yourself gradually sleeping deep in what can you do when you feel lonely personally um i what i do okay i'm going to talk about first what i do when i feel lonely i actually um have my phone as a companion so i browse all through you know find things that are fun loving for me and I, I can I relate to easily. So I get engaged in that. I do a lot of chats, you know, do go on my WhatsApp and try to engage somebody. And sometimes actually I update my status. Yeah. From every information I have browsed through and depending on how my mood is, I begin to post on my updates. I begin to update my status. You know, I begin to update my um, social media handles and, you know, just to feel good or just to get some attention. Because definitely when you post something that's like, oh, why are you posting this? Um, are you okay? Of course, they come. Someone begins to talk to you, right? Yeah. So that's my trick. That's what I do. Other times, I just pick up the phone and call somebody. Because who knows, the way I am feeling, the way I might be feeling, Someone else might be feeling that way, even worse than I am. So I just pick up the phone and talk. Just talk to anybody. Just call somebody. And sometimes, again, I just swallow my pride and take it like, okay, you know what? I need to talk to you. I need somebody to talk to right now. I feel really down and all that. Da, 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 da. And then before you know it, we're talking about something else. Before you know it, probably we're gossiping about something else. And before you know it, voila, you're done. And another thing I do, yeah, I do most of this thing. So it depends on the mood. Another thing I do is I pick up uh, myself and try to do yoga or try to meditate if I find that okay I got some space I got some peace within me right now so let me meditate what do I want for myself right now I begin you know just try to clear my chakras okay so you can do that you can try that yoga is really good and sometimes you might not want to do pranayama that's breathing you just might want to just focus on the asanas so you can try asanas you can try pranayama um, or better still sleep you could watch a movie or pick up a book and then in that process, it drives you to sleep. And before you know it, mm, you sleep a lot and you sleep well. <laughs> okay, so there's a solution. But other than that, if you know a single parent who might be lonely, you can invite them over, you know, just come spend time, which I do most times. My friends are amazing, super amazing. They have me over at their house and I get to eat a lot, you know, eat, 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 eat. Forget my sorrows <laughs> the time being. But of course, hey, don't be like me. I have a way of checking my weight whenever it gets Sh shut up okay okay so the next one is instilling discipline in the children yes actually this seems more like a challenge even to the very strictest of us 
because we're afraid we, we get worried and that fear comes sometimes will I be able to treat or, or discipline my child in a way that they turn out good will I discipline them rightly you know there's that fear for some of us like growing up we had this fear when daddy's around you know there is a way to behave when mommy is around there's a certain way to behave now when you have both of them together you know how to be you know at your best right now you have a situation where you are just by yourself with these children you tend to feel really bothered that you might not discipline them rightly or you might over discipline them it gets to that point i've had um situations reviews feedbacks from my siblings um sometimes and they say oh you're being too hard on this one and you're being too lenient on this one and i'm like no i think i'm tra training both of them the same and they're like no you're being fav I mean, you know you're offering favors to one and leaving out the other or you're being really strict or really harsh on this one and leaving out the other and i'm like okay maybe it's because of the age this one is older than you know it happens so that fear comes most times and let me tell you in all honesty one of the fears i have having the being the fact that i have um a a young adult growing on me a young adolescent a young teenager growing on me I, I, my eldest daughter is going to be nine and you know she's beginning she's beginning to show off the features the female features already coming out and i'm like oh my god am i getting to that time like when i have to be on the edge like okay you know what are the things you have to be careful for of course this is the right time to do it but within me i have that fear like okay how am i going to start the conversation what's going to lead to it will she be free with me you know will she actually be free to talk to me about things happening will she as she's growing to a teenager will she make me her friend will she will she give me the open openness to actually talk to me i know for me i am a mother to girls i'm wondering how mothers to boys are managing it or fathers to girls how are you managing it you might want to share please do comment below and let me know i mean let's know what and how you're coping because you know i know it's not easy for me, it's not easy as a mother to girls. How much more to a man who is taking care of both males and females? Maybe as you know, your boys might be easy to just handle that. But for the girls, how do you manage it? Please comment below, okay? All right. So another, another, yeah. How can I leave this out? Another challenge is financial. Yes, the financial aspect is. Oh my God. Okay. So now, um, I believe I would say that our counterparts in the US and you know in the other advanced countries are a lot advantaged you know at a, are at an advantage than we are in this third world <laughs> or in Africa I say that because you know like in the US in Canada and all of that you have this job centers so you can easily walk into these job centers and apply for a job or check out any job that's available that you can do right so jobs are readily available okay but here it's not the case you know you have to either focus on the skills that you got or if you're lucky and your certificate is able to get you a job which you will eventually you know you have to actually lobby for or god help you you're highly connected and somebody just gets you hooked to that job otherwise you'll have to either sweep the streets or serve people you find most times that some parents give off their children to serve as maids you know for returns of money so they get paid while their children do the work for others outside and then sometimes you find that some of them actually go door to door knocking on doors do you have work that i can do you know such times we have that in a basically just meager work like sweeping cleaning washing and that's it but it's not enough how much do you get paid at the end of the day how much are the cost of condiments in the market you'll be surprised that many of them do this just for one thousand naira and it's not easy, it's not fun, it's not smooth, it's not encouraging. But you have our counterparts in other parts of the world where you have job centers. They, they're able to actually do more than one job and still, you know, try. It's not easy, I know it's not. So that financial aspect. So what can you do as a friend to a single parent, as a friend? If you've got a connection, please connect that girl, connect that man, connect that woman. Connect them to a job if you have the connection. If you know somebody who, would, um, who can employ them, you can recommend them for that and you single parent try and get a skill basically certificates are not any i'm not eat anymore so you might want to get yourself a skill get skilled in something get skillful with your hands get good at something and if you think you're good enough with your fingers you might want to start teaching that trade or teaching that skill to somebody else and make money out of it and you can do more than one thing because in all honesty focusing on one thing alone is not sufficient to put putting food on the table so you might as well offer that skill and make money and at the same time give that skill to work you know into work somewhere else and still get paid okay we find a lot of single parents engage more in teaching jobs which actually do not you don't really get paid well for teaching jobs are actually the 
underpaid jobs we have mostly in nigeria and most especially in private schools so but if you can manage it okay fine but other than that family members hey help out you know you might just your your, your support you can just place them on a monthly support you know it, it doesn't hurt it doesn't hurt at all support them you know financially see how you can come through for them you know to help them leave that body and if you don't want to give them money you might as well just um put together some food stuff and monthly you can just bless them with it trust me givers never lack so once you give it you're gonna get it back and i'm sure that the children mostly will pray for you that one is certain so you don't want to um you really 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 do not want to overlook that single parent and even if they're not your family members but you know a single parents who is striving who is trying who is struggling to keep their children alive and if you if you're burning in your heart to support them please do and hey if you really don't know any single parents to help out we have a community of single parents who need your help you might want to reach out to me privately uh, you can contact me on any of my um, social media handles and um, of course i will be glad to respond to you and we will be so happy to receive your help to reach out to these parents okay um so basically i think um i have been able to manage through some of these challenges if you think you can you resonate with these challenges and then you know a few challenge that you might want to mention please do comment in the um, comment section below and um just let us chat let's let's have a chat let's um talk about this that's the much we can take for today i am i'm sure and i believe that you've actually enjoyed yourself and you've actually learned a thing or two and you will be willing if you're not a single parent you'll be willing to help a single parent out there and um of course um you know just be kind be nice be sensitive to people around you don't be judgmental don't be quick to judge don't be don't don't discriminate please just don't, as much as possible don't do it mm -mm. Okay, so thank you so much for staying tuned and, you know, being with me and always keeping track. Um, thank you so much. It means so much to me. And don't forget to subscribe if you're yet to subscribe to this channel. Like this video and, of course, watch other videos, okay? And please comment. I would love to hear from you as your feedback means so much to me. Namaste, love, and light.